Hi. <clears throat> this is a continuation of the short story, Mystery of Bruce. Bruce had a special place in his heart for those grandkids of his. He came from a large family, and these children filled in his picture of the large family he loved. His parents were gone, and his older sister took the place of his mother. She also was a special, has a special place in Bruce's heart, as their mother and father had divorced. Then his mom had this dapper old duffer as a second husband. So Bruce heaped all of his love on his family and his older sister. <clears throat> Her tattoo just said Nancy. There were a part they were a, these were a part of his gang missing. They had been to Sturgis. There was a part of his gang missing. They had been to Sturgis with him, but they they met with an accident and a suicide. They were happy and sad emotions flowing through Bruce's mind this night. So he decided to clear the air that night outside looking at the millions of stars in the sky. Bruce wondered what it would be like to live as free as those stars. Then he cried just a few tears, thinking of his wife, my sister Carol. He wondered what was missing from his life on this night. He did not want to go home. He did not want to leave this happy and beautiful valley in Wyoming. Bruce sat at the end of the street looking up to this beautiful woman standing over him. He had asked, she had asked him why he was so sad, and he said, I'm not sad, I'm just a little lonely. She sat down with him and they talked till the early morning light. Bruce unburdened his whole life circumstance to her that night until the first rays of the day shot across the street. He told her that he wanted to return to Vietnam some day to see the streets as peaceful. Every soldier had uncontainable memories, and Bruce was no different. He seemed to want to find peace there after the war. Then his present-day happiness would be complete. Bruce was in the big tanks. <clears throat> he was a, bomb a bombardier behind the driver. He couldn't he couldn't imagine who he had killed because he never saw their faces. This was Bruce's nightmare of people being blown to pieces and run over by his tank. He wrestled with the dead crying after him at night in dreams and, and nightmares. It soothed him to watch the sun coming up his equilibrium came back. His desire to sleep did not. So he was off for his morning beer. <laughs> I'll meet you next year in the early summer, Bruce said to her when he got to the house. His, his bros were just waking and ready to get started. So at the end of the week, we drove freely back to AZ. Phoenix, to be exact. My wife and my boys are waiting, grandsons and granddaughters, my dog and my and you, Carol. I've been refreshed and turned into a, and turned into a free-loving, badass biker, and now I am again ready to live life on life's terms. What is it about Az that everyone is? <clears throat> Solemn and mysterious about the Superstition Mountain.